Good morning! Hello, hello! We have a guest with us today. Boop. There she is! Hello! Everyone in my house is gone right now. So we may also have Cinder wandering in because the door can be open. Hi. I'm trying to get you on camera. But also where I can pet you. Because um, the water is shut off in my house, so <laughs> everyone else was like, I'm going to go work at the office today, or go out on an adventure, and... But I'm kind of tethered to this spot <laughs> for this morning, so we're doing that. Chronic migraines, I wanted to know if I could get your opinion on a thing that happened earlier yesterday. Sure, what's up? Hello, hello. Yeah. Cuddle girl. Oh. Oof, oof, oof. So if it's like really personal, I might ask for it in a whisper just so that way we can kind of keep things a little more community focused here. Ugh. Glaive is here! Oh my gosh, we're gonna buy so many things. If you're in the market for a new plant friend, you can buy his lovely seed and starts in the plaza. Yes, we want many plant friends. Hello. Yeah. I caught this one sleeping up next to my head last night. It was so cute. I like wake up because she's purring super loud right here. <laughs> Baby. Oh man, we got so many things. Okay. O'Hare. O'Hare really likes to send letters. Guess what, Sophie? It's your lucky day! I was doing a little shopping when I came across this spicy number. Not everyone can pull it off, but I think you've got the sense of style to give it a proper home. Enjoy. Make room for it, O'Hare. Oh my god. Did he send a gift with it? He did not! Oops. <laughs> Or maybe I opened it already? I don't know. Got some books. Hey there, Sophie. How's life treating you these days? It just seemed like a good time to write you a note and check in. I know I might be grumpy from time to time, but I'm really rooting hard for you, kiddo. Sincerely, Dell. Oh, Are you leaving me, Belle? Okay, bye. Alrighty then. Oh, we've decided we want to cuddle up on the bed instead. Oh, we see a, a cave of blankets and we think Cinder's in there. <laughs> She's not. She left. Label to Sophie. You were very helpful the other day. Here are two tailor's tickets as a thank you. You can exchange them for items. 3,000 bells or less at the tailor shop. Enjoy. Thanks, Label. All right, I got some things for my house. And Sunny's house. Barreled, oh my gosh. Hey Sophie, I've been itching to write you a card ever since I woke up this morning. Actually, I've been itching ever since I woke up this morning. I need a bath, Barreled, oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, pine tree. I don't have a place for you right now. Book goes outside. This is label. Okay, I don't remember where I wanted the portable radio. I think I have one of those in here. That's for downstairs. Okay. Oh, no.
know, that's that's okay. Uh, I was basically told a streamer who was talking about having a lot of anxiety that they could try doing a breathing exercise if they feel breathless, and I got banned for suggesting medical advice. Is that medical advice? I don't know if it's too like serious. I'm just a bit lost at what I did wrong. Um, I don't think you did anything wrong. I think that's more that, or at least not like, you didn't have enough context to understand, particularly for that person. What was funky? It sounds like they really don't want mental health advice on their channel. Um, I don't think breathing exercise is medical advice. But yeah, I guess they just don't want... Or I guess maybe, I don't know. Maybe just, you got, you got straight up banned? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, it might be it might be for the best and just be like, well, okay. Eh, and just kind of brush it off and move on. That's kind of extreme behavior, I think. But Yeah, that's that's a little a little extreme, I think. But Yeah. I mean, it could be that that person has had a lot of people who are just like, oh, you should just try, like, yoga or something. Or, like, n natural herbs to help your mental health and they're just kind of done with it. You know? Because, like, I mean, you being a chronically ill person, I'm sure you have had people be like, well, if you just, like, have a better mentality about life, I'm sure you'll be all better, you know, kind of that stuff. So it might have kind of hit some of that for them, and they just were like, nope, can't deal with this anymore. So I wouldn't say it was anything you specifically did. It might just be that just kind of you hopped into something that didn't really, yeah, you didn't, yeah. It's okay. We're all kind of strangers on the internet, and sometimes streaming can feel so personal. But we don't really all know the context of what's going on in everybody's lives, so we can still kind of hurt people even if we didn't, we absolutely were not trying to. So, yeah. I'm sorry. That's like a, like a, an emotionally icky situation, and I'm sorry that you're dealing with that. I don't know if any of that helps at all, but... <laughs> oh, we already have a light in here, okay. I love that we can have lights from the ceiling now. It's like the best thing. So awesome. Oh, I don't have a cat anymore. <clears throat> oh, nope, it's in here. Um, do I have anything else in my pockets? Hi, Cinder. Are you going to come say hi? Just gonna stick a whole ass pine tree in this room. <gasps> Do you want up in the basket? Come here. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you. Ugh. This is kind of an awkward angle to pick up this cat. Hello. <gasps> we have a cinder on stream. Hello. Mwah, mwah, mwah. How are you? Do you want to come sit in the basket? Whoop. There we go. We might get a cinder. Do you want it without the basket? No. Okay, well, that was that. We had a very short cameo. <laughs> oh, well. I love these shoes I got from Label because they've got the her symbol on the bottom in hot pink. 
Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I know, I tried to make you a blanket cave earlier, but you rejected it, and then Belle came and walked on it, so it's a little squished. Alright, we got some books. Oh yeah, and bottle crates. Okay, let's see if we can make a stack of books. We do have enough. That's, we're keeping that pine tree. Ah, uh, chronic migraines. Their mods banned me because I asked for an explanation as to why that rule is made. Like, I clarified in a genuine way. I was genuinely cur curious, and they said I was arguing because there was nothing to discuss. A really, really hard time understanding things. So I just genuinely was curious and wanted to understand. Oh, it's all in like a side chat. I'm sorry. When you're working on like a they they must have had some problems with like people being jerks before or they're just they've heard horror stories and so they're really careful about it. Um And especially if you were kind of, were you kind of new to the channel? Like, did they not know you very well? Because that may also be kind of part of it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay, add. <clears throat> Let me know when you're back. Okay, what are you? Oh yeah, random, random ass pine tree. Morning, O'Hare. Oh, thank you. Morning, Doe. It is. Sunny gets a pine tree. Oh, I made three of those? No, that's a stack of books. Okay. And a shower set. And a pot rack, because I don't think she has that either. Okay. Okay, this is going to become something today, and I'm excited. Oh, I found some carrots yesterday on a Cap'n Island. It was great. Wow, I might have to do something about these weeds. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, yeah, sharp axe. Okay, I need to get one of those. Oh my gosh. 
Chronic Migraines. Basically, it's a big streamer who explained that their mods alerted them to a situation, mine, where they said I was trying to diagnose them, making it clear the mods weren't telling them what was actually happening, which made me even more confused. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> uh, I think for big streamers, they just don't have the time and spoons to be able to address all of the things that come up. And like their mod team too gets kind of burnt out on just the amount of people coming in and just being assholes. And then being like, oh, I don't know what happened, you know? And, um, when you've, like, had to deal with a lot of assholes, your trigger finger for, like, how, how well you can deal with it just, like, gets really sensitive. So, I, yeah. On, like, you could have gone through the exact same set of circumstances on, like, a smaller person's stream, or, like, just a different person's stream, and it would have been completely fine. So it has so much more to do with, like, the people you were interacting with and, like, what their circumstances and context is that you didn't know and we don't know. So, I don't know. Sometimes you just have to be like, well, okay, that was a little bit crazy and not an ideal interaction. And then just be like, cool, I guess I'll move on. But no, you're, you're doing okay. Yeah. Chronic Migrants, it was a whole thing and everyone I showed the message to was like, those mods were on a power trip because the first one was so short and rude to me and I kept asking why and the second mod was like, I'm sorry, you felt that way and I was like, oops. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes people just... Yeah. I kind of call it the, like, red pen syndrome a little bit, because, like, kind of, when I was in college, I worked as a grader for a couple different teachers, um, and one of them that I worked with had, like, people who had a lot of graders in their class. For their class um, and so we kind of like would collect homework and then all sit in the back of class together and it'd be kind of crazy how much of a difference you'd get from one person to another like how harshly they would grade stuff and I unfortunately for my students I'm so sorry past students <laughs> at least my first semester doing this I was very like by the book person very like lawful <laughs> I guess lawful neutral a little bit um, and yeah, you get so, ex sometimes when you're given the, the chance to kind of like monitor something, you get kind of excited about the times when you can monitor, like correct things. So yeah, red, red pen syndrome is just like, oh my gosh, I have the red pen now. And you just get a little too excited about using the red pen. <laughs> Chronic migraines. I even tried explaining that my autism makes it hard for me to understand. And I just would love to understand. Yeah, sometimes people just don't have the spoons. And that, has, that doesn't have anything to do with you. I'm sure you were very polite and very earnest. Um, so yeah. It's okay. It wasn't about you. You just happened to meet people on a bad day or something. Also, like what happens, how people treat you sometimes has way more to do with what's going on in their own personal life. Like if somebody's going through like a super like stressful situation, they can just be like have no tolerance or just like no patience to just assume the better of someone and like try and work through an honest mistake instead of just being like nope not dealing with this so so yeah 
But that's super sucky because you never really know until, like, you just don't know until something's happened and you're like, well, was it me? Was it them? Yeah. Well, you are the one that actually has hair, O'Hare, so sorry, Del. Man, I can't wait until I get one of these conversations between, like, Del and Cephalobot, because Cephalobot is also smug, and I'll be like, neither of you have hair! <laughs> I, yeah, O'Hare scares you? <laughs> Why? He's a little intense. Oh, May 27th is Del's birthday! Okay, that's like a week away. Oh, Sunny <gasps> made a note! That must have been Hothwile. <laughs> like, what? I don't remember making that. Oh, his eyes and lips. What am I doing back here? Bottle crates, bottle crates. They are a no for you. Okay, that's fair. Oh yeah, it's the stamp! The stampathon! At the museum. We should go. We need to do that. There's nothing in the bottle crates. Well, that's a little awkward, but okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find the bottle. But yeah, I've got so much stuff for an archaeology lab. I need to do that one next, but I'm kind of thinking trying to figure out where I want to put it. So I might... I might do the library next. I'm a little worried that I don't quite have the right proportions for things. I need to do a little bit of pencil paper planning to make sure I know who's... Like which villager is going where. Janice, hello! I gave her those glasses. What's the latest? Indeed I am. Alright. Oh hey, Gyroid. Phoebe! Oh no! Ooh. Oh, okay. She has such a cute catchphrase. Oh, by the way, I have a present for you that I could give you last night because you were fishing for the whole hour. <laughs> this is for you. Carrots. Nom 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 nom. Ooh. Earbuds combo? Oh, this is a shirt. Okay. Thanks! Eh. Okay. We're looking for a bottle. At least I don't think I picked it up already. Oh my god, oh, there it is. It is all the way over there. I could have booped her with a net. Aww. But I like Phoebe. Do I still have the tree? No, I gave it to Sunny, but I think... I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what to do with my beaches. Chelsea. 
Okay. What is this? To whoever finds this, our weather was so nice out today that I went for a long walk. On my walk, I thought of this DIY recipe. I wanted to get my idea out into the world, so I put it in this bottle. It's simple. If you have the parts, wishing you well, Lolly. Oh, Lolly. I'm learning so many golden recipes, and I just want, like, the regular ones. <laughs> Why? I thought I heard a balloon. Oh, I did. It's over here. There we go. Ooh. Do we have room for that up here? Not really. Okay, well, maybe I'll go put it so we can have it in Raymond's office. <gasps> Carol, hello! Hello, hello! How are you? So nice to see you today. Good. I'm glad you're doing well. Let's go plant a gyroid. Well, yeah, no, yes, maybe. Okay, we have other things we need to do. Focus! Okay. Some bushes for our entrance. Hmm. Oh, this one's going to be a little difficult. Miles for talking to people? Yes. And let's do some cliffs. Oh, I am catless. I'm so sad. ourselves up there and plant the last bush.
is back. I have been doing remarkably well and not accidentally <laughs> getting rid of the custom designs. <coughs> so proud of myself. Alright. Got some things planted. I'm gonna need to do a giant mix around of bushes at some point. Because I just have. Like, I've got these bushes, and then I've got the. Um, Hibiscus bushes. Because those are the ones I've gotten from Caffin Islands. And what's been in season from Leaf. Leaf? From Leaf. Friend Life. Okay, Caption Bot can't quite pronounce his name either. That's fair. Sharp axe. Wait, is there anything in here? Okay. Oh man, the weather's been so nice lately. Oh right, I need the sharp axe. Duh. Um. <gasps> You're looking on Etsy? Oh my gosh, anything nice on Etsy? I may have gone down an Etsy rabbit hole trying to find a coffee mug, like a big coffee mug that has Animal Crossing on it. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god, yes, it's red, it's the wrong color, but this is what I need. Wow. I mean, this is cute, but I'm gonna sell it back. I'll buy it! Okay, we're here because I need a sharp axe. <laughs> That's why we're here. <clears throat> Ooh, that one looks nice. Um, let's see. I don't think so. Hello, little guys. Don't want that. Don't need that. Don't need that. You could have an extra stone axe. Sold. Okay. But yeah, the weather's been really nice. And I'm just like, yes, barbecue season. It's almost here. There we go. Gonna plant this tree. Mm -hmm. 
So we'll see. We might do some barbecue in at some point. Not this weekend, though. Probably not this weekend. Because we have a birthday party this weekend. It is always great to be... To have... Um, interests that are silly. Uh, but also kind of... Mildly obsessions because then it gives your friends permission to do silly, silly things for your birthday. So we have a friend who just really likes fish and fishing. Um, so we are throwing him a fish or slash fishing themed birthday party. <laughs> He's like 30 and we're giving him like a little kid's birthday party. <laughs> But I think that's also like a nice way to welcome somebody into being in their 30s is to be like, hey, we're going to have a kid's party because age is what you make of it. <laughs> there we go. Now we just need a sink. <gasps> oh, you can cook at places now. I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, the best party. We gave somebody in December a like 90s childhood themed birthday party. That was pretty awesome. It was also a surprise party. Ha 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 ha. This one is not actually a surprise party, unfortunately. There's a couple holo there's like a holiday yeah, there's a couple holidays an hour around now. And so that like No, it's just the one. It's uh, so it makes it kind of we had to do some actual coordination. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Cause it's kind of silly to just be like we're gonna have a let's do a party and then the one person who's supposed to come because it's their surprise birthday party is just like oh I can't make it that weekend <laughs> yeah that's that's fair dressing well mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh. Hanging on the wall. Wait, where is it? Oh, this. Oh, the quilt. Nice. Let's go. Oh, Woohoo! Okay, let's see what we got today. Yeah, I like doing like princess themed birthday parties. Other ones I really like are, ooh, we can get it in turquoise. Maybe. Um, Uh, Carol, I'm just glad we don't have to update Surfalobot's firmware. Ah, yeah, yeah me too. <clears throat> okay. I don't think I need any of these. Okay. <laughs> Gyroid fragment. Oh, we didn't use all of the tailor's tickets. I'm gonna drop you here then. Yeah, it's kind of a great.
great day in here. It looks like it might rain. What's the actual weather outside today? It's a little bit gray outside too, I think. Are we supposed to get rain? No, it's just partially sunny. Oh, but it'll be sunny in the afternoon. Nice. Up to 12 degrees Fahrenheit. How much is that in Celsius? I mean Fahrenheit. 50s. We're in the we're in the mid 50s. That's when my brain starts to switch over to Fahrenheit because it grew up in kind of like a really warm area in the summertime where I'd be like up over 100 for most of August. <laughs> so my brain's like kind of stuck between, but like for the more milder temperatures and especially the cold temperatures, I feel them in Celsius. It's a little weird. But that's where we're at. <laughs> so. We got some gyroids. Man, I love these fucking dudes so much. Laseroid, what? Oh yeah, these things. Oh, they're just all so great. Just funky little dudes. I just, they don't get old. They're so cute. <laughs> All right, we need two more fossils. Where could they be? There's one. Yeah, I probably need to do stuff with this weed situation. Oops. that we needed. I am working my legs. Nah, I'm good, but thanks. Oh my gosh. Yep, I do have a few that I I want to assess some fossils. And then we need to make a donation of the purple butterfly. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, let's learn about it. <gasps> We're getting the dirt. Oh. Oh, gross. I think most butterflies will do that. Nope, that's out. That's good. Alright, let's get some coffee before we go on a museum hunt. Yes, please. Okay, friends. What the heck? I did yes last time. <laughs> He's like, whatever. <laughs> Is that like a holdover from the first game he's in? Like, that's so weird. <laughs> Just down at one gulp. Carol, I still need to unlock Brewster. Yeah. This is such a funky little like mini thing. So we've got a nest. Maybe an artistic representation of a pigeon over there. You haven't played the old games? Yeah, I have not either, so I'm just like, I don't know what this is. Oh! Yeah! <clears throat> you do? Aww. Ooh. Coffee beans. All right, we are all Animal Crossing noobs right now in this chat. <laughs> well, I mean, I've been playing New Horizons for a long time at this point, pretty much since it came out, but yeah, I haven't played any of the older games, so I do not know. <clears throat> I don't know the world lore. A little Animal Crossing, hello! Would you know where pigeon milk comes from? <laughs> or like what Brewster was doing in the other games? Stamp rally! An a little Animal Crossing. Oh no, I don't want to know. Okay, great. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks like they're still planning the exhibit that'll go here. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Oh yeah, I don't got anything. Oh well. <clears throat> Here we go. Aww. Bam. Collected all the art stamps. Yay. A little Animal Crossing also has not played the other Animal Crossing games for New Horizons. Well, okay, cool. <clears throat> hmm. Oh. 
serenity tank. Ooh. Little guys just chilling in a little tank. Must be nice. <laughs> We have two in one room. Ooh. Fish. <laughs> little guys just chilling in a little tank. Must be nice. They don't have to pay rent. I agree. A little Animal Crossing. Oh, I love the big tank. It's so cool. Man, I want to go to an aquarium. We have an aquarium here. Just need to schedule, rally the people to go. <coughs> oh, I can't wait for jellyfishes. I also really want to go to the zoo here. I've been once. It's nice. Yay, here we go. Look at how full this tank is getting. Nice. Yeah, the fish, the aquarium is my favorite wing of this museum. place you could sit in here. Oh, there is up here. But you can't really see the fish though is the thing. I love how your feet echo. A little Animal Crossing. I don't get why so many people dislike this museum event. Well, it's super simple. There's not, it's not difficult or anything. Yeah, you know, there's nowhere to like just, oh yeah, we could sit here. Just chilling. It's nice to get you back into the museum and kind of appreciate what you've collected and stuff. But, oh man. Especially during the first part of the pandemic, I just, when like I couldn't go to any of the museums or like do outdoor like out activities, public activities, I absolutely just like, I was just absolutely entranced by this museum because it's just so beautifully built. And like they put a lot of care into designing this and making it feel like actual aquarium or like actual Natural History Museum, which was so much fun. And I've been to quite a few museums over the years in a lot of different areas, and so it was just really lovely to be like, yeah, that's totally a thing that you would find in a real museum, like, set up like that. The Not Dinosaurs Chapter 2. <laughs> A little Animal Crossing. I hope they bring Celeste on the other side of Brewster. Has Celeste had her own like permanent spot before? Synapsids. Huh. Cenozoic. I don't know what that is. Oh, you've heard rumors about it? Oh, I thought they were done after this last, like the DLC, but maybe not. It's still quite a popular game. Yay! Ooh. 
I just love this little detail so much. That they've got all the villagers and like how they branched off, their animals branched off. Oh, a little Animal Crossing. Yes, they said they were done with big paid updates. Oh, okay. Well, that's really been the only, that's been the only paid update they did. And it makes sense because it is a completely, like, standalone game, pretty much. Ooh. Would she, what would she have? Like a, like a little observatory planetarium thing? That would be cool. Bug time. Man, I have been abandoned by cats. They want to go sleep in the living room. Mm, guys. Aha! <laughs> Oh. Are they all out here? I love that there's just butterflies that have escaped from the <laughs> butterfly room. A little Animal Crossing. Yes, it would be so cool to have a star room for her up there. Yeah. Path. Are you just here? Yep, okay, everything's in this main room. Mm-hmm. Yay, we collected all the stamps! I love that they have fish in with the bugs. Are they not in here? I don't see them. Oh, are they up in their own spot, maybe? Hmm. I don't remember what goes in this room. I've caught both the scorpion and the tarantula. I am so happy about that. Oh yeah, he's in there. He's just nocturnal. Okay. I got my underground bugs. Oh, the fly gets its own little genetic spot. Ticks. Where on the earth is that butterfly that I just donated? did donate it. Maybe it wasn't here. The purple emperor. What? Where is it at? Do you guys remember? What the heck? Oh, there you are. Where? 
It's just out here for funsies. Oh, because it's in the treetops, maybe? Interesting. Okay. I have taken photos in this museum though. Do not worry, Blathers. Fish mark! For daring to enter their fearsome presence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's why they're all in one room. He's just like, <laughs> get him out. I don't want to be in here anymore. Let's see. Yay! Frolic amid the fossils! Oh man. Mm -hmm. What did bugs ever do to him? I don't know. Yeah, that is pretty cool. This is a nice way for them to kind of highlight some of the special features in the museum. Artfully composed stamp. There's more than just art? Oh, yeah. Which is truly reprehensible. It will not lead you astray. <laughs> yes. So nice. No. No. Oh, he's so cute. No, this is actually my second island. Uh, I played through my first island uh, mostly in 2020, a little bit in 2021. Um, and then I kind of took a break and but then I, when I decided to stream I restarted my island all the way I unfortunately did not get can I, no okay I didn't get any I got lots of photos of my first island but I don't have a dream address for it which is super lame I just kind of went in and I knew that if I um, took time to like go in and do the dream address and say hi to my old villagers it would be really really hard to just wipe it so I just kind of just got on and wiped it didn't even open it didn't say goodbye to anybody <laughs> But it, yeah, so I, I have pictures, but not, not anything, no dream address. Uh, that one, w and then this is the first one I've done since, this is my second one. My first one was mostly a, um, oh, oh thanks. We don't have any birds on the island. That's super funny when we have birds on the island. 
Here, shop. Do you think we have pumpkins already? But yeah, my first island, it was, I kept it pretty natural. And just kind of did like what feels like a nice little small town. Um, but yeah, I didn't do a do didn't do a ton of terraforming because I just really liked the kind of just what it was, just the the way the landscape was. Um, so yeah, it kept it pretty natural, and like most of the top level, I did as. Um, just kind of a nature trail. I had my camping spot kind of up there and I kept it pretty forested. I had like a yeah, hiking path through it. Okay, that should be 10 each. Yeah, okay. But yeah, it was nice. It was definitely like, I could live here sort of feeling to it. Um, but yeah, then I, I, of course, like saw a bunch of themed islands after that. and was like, oh my gosh, these are so cool. Um, and so for remaking it, and especially for streaming it, I was like, okay, I want to go with a theme. So that way it's a bit more interesting and a bit more uh, unique a bit too. Uh, nope, I don't need that actually. Um, and it's like a, just kind of a challenge too as, for me as a creative person. Okay, nothing new has come in a long time. Okay, I want to see what these look like. Oh wait, no, those aren't the ones I wanted. I wanted the floating blocks, damn it. Oh well. Yeah, for this island we're doing a secret research facility. Which is cool. <laughs> so to go along with that, we have, um, let's see, who do I know for sure? So the ones, the villagers in this column are the ones that I have specifically picked out for researching or for being part of that theme. And then these ones are kind of starters, so they'll get they'll get replaced. Um, so we have Dell, who is our like. Well, we've got to have some robots hanging around because, of course, we do because it's sci-fi themed. So Dell looks like he's gonna be. Oh my gosh! Good morning, Vicky. How are you? But yeah, Dell is now in our loading bay, so he's kind of the like handyman, receiving things sort of person. 
Um, Velma is going to be our archaeologist researcher. I know that, and she's gonna be paired up with Graham. Graham's going to be specifically looking, doing like big data number crunching on, and I think he's gonna be studying gyroids um, because he really likes KK Bubblegum, and I know that the and the gyroids like do stuff with the music, so I think that'll be kind of funny. Uh, she's a super old school researcher, loves her books and stuff, and he's very much a new school researcher with like you know, like doing big data analysis and like number crunching and stuff. So I think that'll be kind of a fun sort of pairing to have. Um, we have Petrie, of course, she's the head of research for the island and she is continuing her genetics researching, um, which kind of is like how her house is themed. Um, then we're also gonna have, we're missing a couple people. I'm not really sure what Beryl's gonna do yet. And I'm not quite sure what Cephalobot's gonna do yet, but we have a couple more that we're missing. So, Ruby is going to be our astroneer, aerospace engineer. Oh, Vicky! I contacted the employment office because I haven't had a phone call yet and they replied so I think I'm waiting for their phone call today with the details about the job so that I can start gathering all the paperwork. Oh, exciting! <laughs> no worries, no worries! Yeah, yes, I, I do want to know. I will ask. Yes, this is true. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, Ruby's gonna be like space program stuff and then kind of paired a little bit with her is Ion and Ion's going to be the mecha development program so working with like electronics and stuff um Raymond is CEO and then Roswell is um specifically aliens so anything that's like alien stuff is gonna go with him so I know we have like some botany stuff that needs to happen. So that might be Cephalobot and Barreled might work on. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the cheer. Montrose Chloe. <laughs> I'm not normally awake at this hour. How are you? I'm, I'm good. <laughs> it is 11-ish AM in Finland right now. <laughs> We just finished our Call of the Sea playthrough last night, and um, yeah, so now I now I need to pick another game. So I'm I'm trying to think what we're gonna do for that if we're gonna stay in mystery zone. But yeah, how's your playthrough of um, Disco Elysium coming through? Can you move here? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, I moved here for, I got transferred here, uh, my job transferred me here like six, seven years ago, um, and then I just kind of stayed, and like I've worked in a couple jobs since that job, but yeah. I love it here. It's just, it's just nice. <laughs> Huge development in... Disco Elysium, think you're gonna finish it this week. Was this your first playthrough of it, or have you done this before? I don't remember. I know we talked about it, but I can't remember. Could Cephalobot fit into an underwater research study, maybe? Oh yeah, maybe he's the like the the fish the fish researcher. Cause I also need like I don't know, maybe I need to not double people up so much, because I got like I need to have some I don't know. See, this is where I need to do some planning. Do a little more planning, cause I have like the like fruits and vegetables, like plants need to be a thing, which can also include moss and like the mushrooms. Um, then we've got like fish and birds and s or not birds, fish and bugs. I don't know. First playthrough. Wow. Yeah, it's a it's a, such a fascinating game. 
I need to I need to get back on and play a little more of it. Well, right now I'm just like completely got too many games. <laughs> too many games. <laughs> okay, let's put some things away. Yeah, those are the villagers that I'm going for up top that I had up there. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I have too many games is a plight of most people who do anything related or just like, you know, slightly into games. <laughs> But yeah, I'm trying to be good about it and not like buy more than I have like a plan for. Um, so I've got kind of a shorter list of the ones that I think I'm gonna do in the evenings on, on my Wednesday evening adventure stream. Vicky. It's a fun type of lottery when you go to an island and search for the local villagers, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> oh, man. Montrose Glory. I officially have enough games that I had to come to terms with the fact that I will die before I can play them all. Yeah, I've also had to come to terms with the fact that I'll, like, try a game that a lot of people have liked, and it will just not, just not do it for me. And, uh, like, I felt super guilty about that for a while. I'm like, oh, this is a game so many people love, and it's just not fun for me. What's wrong with me? And realizing it's fine. Different people like different types of games, and it's okay. It doesn't make me less of a gamer if I'm just like, you know, this is just not doing it for me right now. But, yeah. Had some gamer imposter syndrome happening for a while. Vicky, I wish I had. I wish I liked more types of games. I mean, if you know what you like, that's great. Just like, like that's awesome. Just do your thing and yeah. Because games ultimately are about entertainment, your personal entertainment. And so it really does not matter if everyone in the world thinks something is fun and entertaining. And if you don't, then the game's not serving its purpose for you, and therefore it is a worthless game to you, and it's fine. It doesn't matter how many other people in the world are like, oh my gosh, this has been so entertaining and fun. If it doesn't, if the product does not fulfill that for you, then it is not a product you should be wasting your money on. Yeah. Ranch over! Okay. <laughs> Chloe, having too many games actually helps with that too many games to feel guilty. Yeah, that, that's true. Vicky, I know what I like, but I can't seem to find any new ones in the store. It feels like I've seen them all, and they don't come up with any anymore. But it's okay, because I like grinding games, and I can play the same ones until I die. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, little Animal Crossing. I rarely find games I like. Yeah. Working on finding new ones. Where can I put this last funky little bush? Hmm. Or I could buy more funky little bushes. Hmm. Oh, I 
I just stuck myself? I have. Oops. <laughs> Chloe, some games are time dependent, like PUBG and Rocket League. I played them in the early days when no one knew what they were doing. We were all bad together. It's hard to jump into them now. Yeah, when people are like super pro at them. No, that's like so intimidating about games. Sometimes you're just like, oh my gosh, everyone's super good at them. I don't know. But yeah, guys, if you had only if you could only pick like three games to play for the rest of your life, what would they be? Oh actually maybe I need to do this from the other side. Eh. Impossible. <laughs> I think I would pick Minecraft. A little Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing New Horizons, Sims, and Mario Kart. Pink, white. Oh, yeah, talking about the really popular big games. Especially, Vicky, especially when you're a little competitive or like to complete games, you're never going to catch up with those people. Yeah. Vicky's top. Or like three for the rest of their life. House Flipper, Minecraft, Portal Knights. Um, so yeah, Minecraft, Deep Rock Galactic. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Does it count if you use mods? I was certainly, I certainly hope it counts because I would like to do Minecraft with mods. <laughs> Specifically the ones that you're able to do more. But yeah, I just really love like, Minecraft is a game that you just make it what you want it to be. <gasps> Belle, are you back? And there's no story or anything. So you just, it's a lot easier to make your own story happen. Hey, sweetie. I'm gonna put you on the camera. Oh. We have a sleepy bell in a bowl. Yeah. We can pull this down a little, maybe. Boop. More cat cam. Yeah! Shaky. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah. We decided to come back. Do we like company? They're both very social cats. Okay, so those are the pinks. But yeah, I really like decorating stuff. But I like gathering supplies too. So I really like the survival elements and the exploration elements and the creative I'm gonna build things elements in Minecraft. It's a really, really versatile game. <clears throat> Zelda Breath of the Wild I just love just the world is so detailed and I just love the lore around all of the like I just love the Zelda lore and stuff and that game's really has wonderful stuff with like uh environmental storytelling about kind of the history. You can just see kind of traces of the history throughout the world, which is nice. Um, but 
Yeah. And then, um, what was the third one? Deep Rock Galactic. I just, the gameplay loop has been awesome for that one. I just, and I really love how it works, like, when you're, like, collaborating with friends and stuff. Yeah, I've been having lots of fun with that one. Like, played so many hours of it. <laughs> Chloe. Okay, if we use mods, then it becomes super easy. Doom, Minecraft, and Rocket League. Okay, so talk to me about the mods that you want to, that you use for those. The mod that I would mods that I would want to use for Minecraft are the ones that make it so you can make things look more like furniture and stuff like that. I just have one white one left. Okay. Um, and then I wouldn't really use mods for the other two. But I don't know. I just love Deep Rock Galactic because just like the world is so wonderful too. Like the, the characters have just such just a... They just have nailed the personality for that. Of just that I'm a crusty dwarf. It just... I think there's just like a dwarf-shaped hole in my soul. Like... That I just, it's just so fulfilling to just come and be like, oh, the man! Bah, 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 bah. Just doing all this work. Not appreciated. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Let's see, pink, white, pink, white. So, yeah, we need to stick another pink here. Chloe, the Doom modding scene is literally insane since they made adventure games, a 3D Sonic, a car racer, a Japanese style horror game, a million mods. I think they're even doing a dating, dating sim game for Doom. What? <laughs> what? Ooh. That's cool. I had no idea. So there you go, one stop shop. Then Doom becomes a cheat answer. It's basically asking for more wishes. <laughs> I mean, Minecraft is kind of the same thing. People have made all kinds of stuff in there. of the holly because I think I will want to redo a bunch of things with holly when it gets to be Christmas time. But then I'm going to have all of these bushes hanging around. Ah. <laughs> 
Chloe, to be clear, I'm talking about the real Doom 1993, not the imposter Doom 2016. <laughs> I didn't know they made a remake of it. Okay, so what is Doom actually about? I know that it's really small and you can load it onto just about anything, so it's just like a total, just kind of an ongoing joke when people are like, I can play Doom on my 1990s Nokia phone, or like whatever. <laughs> is it like a dungeon crawl sort of thing where there's a, like a big monster or something? grandfather of all first-person shooter games. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. the genre and its core elements are still bedrock to every shooter game still made today. Oh, okay. Ooh. I'm so glad you hopped on today because I feel kind of bad when I've like, I feel like every time I've come into your streams I just derail it with talking like <laughs> weird game history things. <laughs> got into games, like I first started playing video games in my early 20s, so it's only been about 10 years or so, um, and I feel like I've missed so much, but, you know, it's fine, it's never too late to start anything. Oh, somebody wants to talk to me, hello! Yeah. But if I have somebody deliver it, that's definitely not extra and even more weird. <laughs> we knew! Welcome, welcome! But yeah, I was kind of intimidated by games for most of like growing up. It definitely was. I don't know. I kind of. I don't know. I was just very aware of gender roles as a child. And I'm not entirely sure. I mean, that was just like a mix of a bunch of things. Um. But, yeah, so I just didn't get into video games because that was like my brother's thing. And, um, I'd have to play with the boys, and the boys were like, you, a girl, you know? So, I don't know. Oh, you're also pink. Okay. Two minute pinks. So, it took me until I was a little later in life to get into the genre. And also to the point where I was old enough not to give a shit and just be like, okay, well, um, people say I can't play. Well, it sucks to be them because I'm here now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Well, and also, I it took me a while to find a good community of like non-male gamers, and I've I've found some good some good people that make me feel like I don't stick out so much now. Like in my real, real life, everyday life, real world life, I've got some nice some good people that kind of yeah make me feel a little more at home being what I am. 
What are these? Pink azaleas. White azaleas. <laughs> so many azaleas. Oh, maybe I'll stick them back here. Chloe, I wish I was confident enough to make it more of a thing, but when I watch YouTube vids where people have done weeks of research, I think, man, I don't know anything. Def not an expert. Yeah, it's a lot, the community is a lot more welcome these days, which is awesome. Whoop. Um, but yeah, it's been just nice. And I've always been really like mathematically and logic inclined. Um, so I originally went into uh, mathematics, um, but through mathematics I got into computers, which are just so much fun, like just so much fun. Um, but I also have a really big background in the arts, in like music and performing arts, and so it became kind of like storytelling is really fun. That's something I really enjoy about being a performing artist, is being able to convey a story to people. Um, and most of my, like I've done some theater, but mostly I've done like music and um, dance, so like non-verbal types of art. Um, and so it's, so like that concept of storytelling, like especially like environmental storytelling in games is super fascinating to me. Um, so yeah, I just ended up kind of in, well, I kind of had like a quarter life crisis and was like, okay, what I'm, I did the, okay, I need to get a corporate job because that's what you need to do to be able to pay the bills and that's how you know you've succeeded and. I was like, I hate my life. <laughs> I can't be my funky, cheerful, silly, kawaii self. I can't be open about, oops. Loving the people that I love and having the relationships that I have because I'm polyamorous and that is just like really squicks people out sometimes. Um, and so I had to like hide this entire like huge part of my life I had to hide. I was just afraid I'd run into coworkers and stuff and felt like I had to be serious all the time and I'm just a total like goofball and so it's just Yeah, so I then I, I kind of like had a couple months where I just kinda of had a like a I don't know, like a cocoon time, you know? Where you're just Sitting with yourself and just trying to just you and your thoughts, just trying to figure out who you who you are, like and what you're doing with life and oh you're probably moving forward. Where did it go? Um, and that's how I got into games, because I literally drew out the things that like I love and specifically the like, things I've enjoyed and like the bits and pieces of each of those and that's kind of how I settled on games because it's even if you're just doing coding for it it's still very artistic and you still have a lot of help in or you you still have a lot of influence in how people experience the story and the world you're trying to bring across and stuff so Chloe, for you and anyone watching, uh, know that female gamers make up a massive chunk of the market. You don't just hear about it so much because they tend to not be so vocal because of that toxic backlash, but you're not alone. We are Legion. Yay! Yeah, computer games as an artistic medium is the fully realized ideal of everyone who ever dreamt of interactive theater. Yes, yes, and I have done, yeah, immersive, immersive performance stuff. Um, I am a huge fan of like theme parks and stuff like that where they really go all out into like creating the environment 
Like, Disney is like a really fascinating, like their theme park experiences are really fascinating to study. Um, cocoon time. I call that staring into the mirror of truth. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do that for like a year. <laughs> But, yeah, it's, it's a thing. Oh, yeah, by the way, a little Animal Crossing for the month of May. The adorable stickers that were drawn by Chronic Migraines commissioned from her uh, of my cats are free. Zero bits, so please slap the crap out of them so we can properly just appreciate this art that we have received. <laughs> Bill, you're a sticker! Yeah! <laughs> but yeah. Man, thoughts, feelings, things. Alright, let's put you back here. Oh, so many bushes. Okay, I need like one. Uh. Wait, what color was this? But yeah, so that's kind of how I ended up in games. Um, and then I got really lucky because... Oh, that was the white one. Okay, so we need one, two more white ones, and four pink ones, okay. Um, unless there was more over here that we needed. But yeah, so during my summer of soul searching, I went to a games convention because I've been involved with Pathfinder Society, which is an international tabletop group. Um, and, um, okay, we needed... Oh, you found it? Yeah! Little Animal Crossing. I never sent a sticker before. I think I found it, but I can't see the cat. Oh, yeah, they're on the second page. Two white. Uh, but I had a transformative moment at that. Just a second, I'll tell you, because this leads into some really cool stuff. Uh, I know I need four more of those, but like, there's a balloon. Where are you? There you are. Man, we got so many balloons today. Oh no. Here? No, okay, perfect. What do we got? Cool chair. What does that look like? Ooh. Okay, four of these. Chloe, there is pure art in the coding, just as much as the art, because that makes up the biggest factor of the medium, the interactive part. Otherwise, it would just be a painting. Yeah. It's been so much fun to be able to work with, um, because I've been on like a two-person team for the last couple of years for game stuff, uh, so I have a game designer and then me being the game developer, and they're the ones who's like designing the story and um, puzzles, and then I work with them to make that happen, but because there's just two of us, there's quite a lot of like brains together time that happens too and it's been really interesting to and just very fulfilling to be able to be like okay we know we need a puzzle here in the flow of the game what can we do what are some fun mechanics but then also how can we make those mechanics feel like they're seamlessly integrated into the world and the experience bother a cat yes about this project yes 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 Belle you're going to get bothered and then we're going to talk about Odysseus Hello! Ma, 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 ma. This is Belle. Okay. Belle's gonna be bothered while we talk about Odysseus. 
So yeah, I went to this uh, convention and it just happened to be right after a really huge LARP had been run here in Finland that um, was basically like how it was described to me was it was a high-tech LARP that was basically like you had stepped onto a movie set of a spaceship. Um, so it had like lights and sound effects and stuff that went through the whole facility that they were in. Um, and I was like, oh my god, that sounds amazing. Like a huge production. Uh, and so I went to all the talks they had on it that weekend. And they also had a huge integrated software system throughout the whole thing to be like the bridge simulator. So your ship flying through space, um, all the crew stations working together, and then they had like, they had like, have, they have like three, or four, they had like some, some stuff from like NASA, open source software from NASA for like, I can't remember what that is, star charts or one of the landing crafts, I don't remember exactly. Um, and then, like, they built out a whole bunch of stuff for, like, engineers to have little tasks to do. And, like, they built a freaking engine that was interactive and stuff. And just, like, huge, just huge thing. And I just, like, walked away from that weekend just, like, completely just, I didn't know something like this was possible. And my life has changed forever. <laughs> um... So that's Odysseus LARP, and I am super happy. So yeah, after I found that out, I went and just like hunted down people. And I was like, hi, how can I do this? Hi, how can I do something like this? Uh, but they were super burnt out, and like people were like, I'm really excited you want to get involved, but like we just need a break. And so nobody like talked back to me for months. And then I finally got involved, managed to find um, like this nonprofit that supports LARPs here in the area that was connected with that LARP um, and uh, through them I found my current job which is oh, are we actually gonna um, for a company called Beyond Play which we have the out of orbit games and these are um, so I have helped I did all of the tech the IT infrastructure for, or either did it myself or like met, like organized the people who did some like uh, like Arduino devices for me stuff um, for a spaceship game room here in Helsinki which is called Out of Orbit and we did an interactive TV show filmed out of there on Twitch um, last December and we'll be doing more episodes for that so basically we hooked up Twitch chat to some of the systems in the ship so that way, well we had an actor in the room going on a, uh, just a space adventure. <laughs> Vicky, I would so want to work with you. <laughs> what would you want to do? Sophie for colleague. <laughs> you seem like a cool person to work with. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing some more episodes from that. I know we're going to be releasing one over the summer, um, for sure, as kind of part of a part of a convention here. Uh, we're going to be doing a kind of a live portion, but then there's still also going to be everything on Twitch. So I will be letting all of you know until you're so sick of it. <laughs> um, Anything, I'll be your assistant, your secretary. Oh. <laughs> we have, like, no money. We're just a little startup. <laughs> I don't even have work all the time. Like, the first, like, five months of this year, I didn't have any work. <laughs> so. But I'll keep you in mind. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and... Finally, finally also through being able to work with that, like, that installation, um, I was able to keep in contact with the muse just here to see the kitties. This kitty right here. But yeah, through that, um, 
I was able to stay in contact with the people that did the Odysseus LARP, and I'm very, very excited to tell you that we are, we've just announced last week that there's going to be a rerun of it in 2024. So there is the website for it if you want to come out to Finland. It's in, in, it's an internationally focused LARP, so it's going to be in English, or at least have some of the runs in English. And I am on the core team making software stuff for this game, and I'm so excited. So <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you're interested in attending or getting involved with it, um, you can find information on the website. Um, there's also a, a sign-up sheet for volunteers and stuff, too. There should be. Yeah, recruitment. Under about, there's some recruitment, so... But yeah, it is all... Uh, for this LARP, it's all volunteer work um, because there's just not a way to create. We, we as a LARP making community have not been able to find a way where we can actually put on productions of this caliber and make them and be able to pay people to do it and make it at all remotely affordable for people to come so to buy tickets to it. So it's just... Yeah, it's it's hard because these are just amazing experiences and we want to be able to build them professionally for people, but it's just, I don't know, it's kind of a little bit like community theater. Oh my gosh! Plena, welcome, welcome, welcome! Are you an Animal Crossing person? How are you? All right, I need to get four of these. I got completely derailed. <laughs> that's, but that's because I was, I have to count things and I can't like talk and count at the same time. <laughs> All right, let's get some pinks. Hi! <laughs> One. Let's see. Two. <laughs> I am so bad at remembering where I'm at when I'm counting. Okay, only two more guys. We could do this. <laughs> Three. Oh my gosh, another balloon. Jeez. Four. Okay. Plana. Yeah, I'm just set up setting up my capture card so I can stream Animal Crossing, so I'm checking out the community. Oh, welcome! Welcome, friend! Hello! Let's give you a shout out. Ooh, you've been doing Minecraft. Nice. Yeah! So, um, have you done an island before? Are you starting completely new? Are you starting in the middle? Like, what's your plan? The Animal Crossing community on Twitch is just like, well, I guess the Animal Crossing community in general is just such a wholesome place. Just so wholesome. And people generally are like very, at least in my experience, very positive and excited about what everyone's doing and Oh, you've been obsessed, obsessed with Animal Crossing. Oh no, no, since the Wii. Oh, so do you know what pigeon milk is about? <laughs> we were trying to figure it out earlier. Boxy stool. Because I went and got coffee and Flathers was like, would you like some pigeon milk? And I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> is that a thing? Oh, what is his name? Not Blathers. Oh yeah, haven't unlocked the coffee shop yet. Oh, okay. 
Is he a character from earlier games? I feel like he is, because the community was super excited about him. Brewster! Oh my gosh, thank you. I don't know why, I just completely just forget who this dude is all the time. I'm like, he's the other bird! <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at you. Got a sleepy baby here. Oh, he was in the Wii Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city. Oh, okay. Could you get milk in your coffee there? They also call it pigeon milk. The people need to know. Gone home. Yeah, that might have been you. I was just looking at... You could get coffee, but I can't remember about the milk. Okay. Am I saying your name right, too? Is it Plena? Plena? Yeah, Chloe, I think you were talking to me about Gone Home, because I was probably talking about I don't know what game I'm going to play next. Because I was just looking through my wish list last night, because we just finished... Um, yeah, I've got Gone Home on my wish list now. It's your fault. Oh, I said it right. Play enough? Okay. Is this pink? No. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Yep, it's your fault. Okay, and then white here. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next for my Wednesday evening kind of adventure time slot. Uh, Chloe, are you by any chance a fan of point-and-click adventure games? Um, I mean, they're kind of neither here nor there for me. I feel like I played some of those when I was a kid. All right, we got some bushes. Oh yeah, Journey of the Broken Circle. I was actually thinking about that one because it's a little bit shorter. Oh, Plano, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, go enjoy your breakfast. I'm actually about to sign off, so. I'll catch you probably tomorrow, though. Yeah, but I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 10 a.m. to noon Eastern European time. So, yeah. Be, you can catch me again some other time. And, like, totally let me know when you go when you go live with Animal Crossing, because that's super cool. Actually, I'm going to go give you a follow right now. Shh. Okay. So we can see some animal crafting content. Alright. But yeah, being short will be... No, you can't have it. No. I'm sorry, baby. I feel so bad when I deny them things. I try not to keep run around with stuff in my pocket so that way they don't ask me for weird stuff that doesn't match the design of their houses. <laughs> I really want a cool chair. Sorry, but that would look really dumb in your house. All right, what is this? Ooh, that's nice. That's gonna go in my house. Okay. What else did we have in our pockets? Ooh, those are cute. This was the stool. That can get sold. Oh, yep, we need to go deliver something to Petrie and then we can go. Yep, that's the back office for now. I might actually... Do that next.
I don't know. I don't know. Ugh, everything takes up more room than I thought it was going to. Um, Chloe, well, I have a wealth of game knowledge, so if you need a suggestion, tell me a style and genre, and I can dig out some good ones. Ooh, you are an excellent person to have in my back pocket. Chronic migraines. I feel that. Yes. Yes. Knowledgeable people. Geeky knowledgeable people are very welcome in my community. <laughs> Please share your knowledge with me. Okay, we need to drop a thing off at Petrie's and then we'll be raiding out. So this is, oh my gosh, another one. So this is a really great time to uh, redeem Guide the Raid if you want to. It's a channel points redemption. Um, yeah, money. Otherwise, I'm going to pick someone off of my list of people. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that lovely curtsy. I'll just do a little curtsy back. I have a present for you! I love her ears. They look so soft. Uh oh. Oh shit. No. No, I haven't redesigned Petrie's house. This is just how it comes. Do they hear in stereoscopic 3D? Right? <laughs> I love, like, the 3D goggles. Aww. A raincoat? I don't think I have a raincoat yet. Nice. Okay, let's hope it's not a terrible color. It kind of clashes with my hair, but okay. Thanks. That was so mean. What was mean? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Pink and purple are so cute together. Okay. Hi, hi. <gasps> okay, David. Oh, no, just a oh, second. I want to say what is playing? Weird. Okay. He's saying she didn't like your gift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't my gift to her. It was from Phoebe, and I told her, nah, I don't really want you wearing that. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I made her sad. Beauty sleep, that's a very important topic. Ten to fourteen hours? Okay, yeah, I, I believe that. Cephalobot, what how has nature intended that you, a robotic creature, should sleep? Alright. Okay. <laughs> well, it's because I told her it wouldn't look good on her, and she's like, oh, you're so right, bestie. <laughs> but yeah, the suit of lights is the, like... Well, I can show you guys. Your burlap sacks. Oh god, no wonder you need 14 hours of sleep. Of course, I got favorite pair of PJs. 
<laughs> I'm feel fueling her meanness. Oh no, I just didn't want her to wear something really awful. <laughs> okay, let's look what a suit of lights looks like. It's it's a lot. Wait, I thought. Oh, I never actually held it. Ugh. chronic migraines so yeah we've got a free guide the raid so if anybody has a suggestion uh chronic migraines is um sponsoring your suggestion all right so let's go ahead and do so yes please even if you've just been hanging out and lurking that's totally fine i would love to get to know new Streamers and new content, so please, please let me know. You only have two people online right now? Yeah. Okay, so let's do let's do some self promo time. We're just gonna sit in the middle of y'all y'all's conversation. Nova the Rainbow. That's a cute name. Okay. Let's see what they do. It's like over the rainbow, but Nova. Oh, and they're doing Animal Crossing. Oh, and they're out of Australia, so they'll be streaming for a little bit. That's good. It's always kind of a bummer to raid someone and then they're like, actually, I'm raiding out right now. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> Great, well, we'll go ahead and go visit them, but let's do some self-promo time first. All right, friends, please tell me, what do you do? Do you stream? Are you going to be streaming soon at some point? Uh, do you have a blog and, like, social medias that you're really excited about that you put a lot of work into? Uh, do you do art commissions? Stuff like that. Um, do you do freelance whatever that you're looking for clients for? Like, this is the time. This is the time to put it in the chat because I want to know about it. I, you guys are all really interesting people and I want to know the cool things that you're excited about and that you're putting your effort into. Um, and I'm sure other people in this chat would love to know too. Okay. Chronic Migraines, I'm going to be streaming this or next week for the first time. Ah! So if anyone wants to follow No Pressure, you'd be absolutely welcome. Yep, and Chronic Migraines also has done some lovely... Uh, art for us here on this channel um, so if you are interested in twitch assets you should talk to them also like character art and just digital art commissions talk to them um, what else we know that yeah Montrose Chloe is going to be doing some more uh, what was it Disco Elysium, but you do quite a quite a variety of stuff, right? You've got like a whole schedule. Do a bunch, do things kind of on different days, which I think is really nice. That's like a really nice way to do a variety stream or a variety channel is to kind of have your different genres have their own place because it's like still keeps like your audience, your viewers know what to expect, but it but it's still like switching up the content, which is cool. Who else have we had hanging out with us today? Um, a little Animal Crossing? You do some streaming, right? I don't remember. You get a shout out because you've been fun to hang out with today. Nope. <laughs> you don't do some... That's okay. You still get a shout out because you're cool. <laughs> Uh, we had Plana come in there. Um, been doing some streaming on at least Minecraft, and they had like a couple other games that they've been doing streaming on, but they're looking at. They're starting to break into the Animal Crossing scene, so let's give them a big round of like, hello, welcome to Animal Crossing Twitch! Welcome, welcome! 
Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everyone we've had kind of hanging out. Queen Mew does not do streaming, but they're awesome. Everybody say hi to them. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Vicky. Vicky just started doing some Minecraft, I think. They do Minecraft right now? I don't know. Maybe they're doing Two Point Hospital. Um, Vicky's awesome. She's got just like this really calm voice. She's got this like adorable little burp named Meatball that just hangs out on her stream. Um, also, she's got she's just got a really fun community in her channel. Really silly, but like in a a night like nice silly. Um, then we've got the Autism Carol. Does a bunch of stuff with the... Oh, what is it? Yeah, WWE 2K22. 2022. They taught me. She taught me how to say it. And I forgot. I am so, I'm so sorry, Carol, if you're still here. I think that's pretty much everyone we've had today. But if I, if I, if you're new here, even if you've been, um, even if you've been lurking, it's totally cool to just hop in and tell us cool things you're doing. Um, so if uh, those who've been around for a little while uh, or who've been like interactive, I, I am getting to the point where I can remember what you guys do. Uh, but if you're new and I missed you, or if you've just been kind of hanging out, lurking. Uh, totally fine to hop in and say hi at this point. That's okay. Um, but, yeah, so... Yeah, no, still no streaming from a little Animal Crossing. Sorry, no pressure. No pressure to stream. I just couldn't remember, so I was just going in for it anyways. Chloe, I scaled it back a bit. Oh, your schedule. Boomer Shooters is on Friday, and Wednesday and Thursday will be the same game until it's done. Then I switch genre. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember you were talking about feeling a little bit burnt out. That is that is a thing. Take care of yourself. Scaled back content. Like, as a consumer of content, scaled back content is, like, way awesome than, like, someone burning out and just completely getting off the platform altogether. It was just too confusing to switch games so often. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I play a lot of PlayStation in, like, my... Just my f games for fun. And then I'm playing Nintendo games. <laughs> Switch games on stream. And I'm just like, uh <laughs> Buttons. Mora Sensei, welcome! Hello, hello, hello! Mora Sensei does some stuff. You were hanging out with us last night, too. All right. Yeah, but for me, I do streaming, Animal Crossing streaming, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern European time. And Wednesday evenings, I working through, that 6 p.m. Eastern European time, I am working through um, kind of like story-driven immersive games so I've done strange horticulture you can find it over on my YouTube channel now um, and we just finished call of the sea also <laughs> well the the clip is it just pulls a random clip from the clips you have of your channel so it'll be just whatever you have in clips and then the game is just whatever you were last streaming so it's okay if they don't match up. That's fine. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just finished Call of the Sea, so I might need to take next win this next Wednesday off because uh, I might be doing some errands with a friend, or we might be starting a new one. I don't know. I wanted to do figure out how to get a vote that'll stick around when I'm offline, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So. I don't know. I might just pick the next one. We'll see how I'm feeling. I got a couple days. I, I have a lovely list of games that we came up with. Uh, like, lovely people in the community helped me come up with for um, when we switched to Call of the Sea last time, which is awesome. Um, so, 
I think I'm not taking any more new suggestions right now because I've got like six games that I'm like trying to pick between for this next one, but we'll see. Chloe, Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe just came out recently. Oh yeah, you were talking to me about Stanley Parable. Yeah, because I came onto your channel and was like, I have a conundrum, I don't know what to play. <laughs> But yeah, and like after we talked about walking simulators as a genre and you like kind of opened my eyes a bit more to kind of like what that genre actually means and like kind of its misconceptions, I'm like, oh, maybe I should look a little more into those too because I really love environmental storytelling. Yeah, isn't this cute? It's got like Sakura on it. Hothwell gave it to me for, for, for Christmas, I think. Yeah. I love having gaming people in my life <laughs> because I get things like game supplies, like game supplies and games for like birthdays and holidays. I'm like, oh, you guys, it's so great. Anyways, I need to get off and like go do some work for my day job, <laughs> my other job. Yeah. So that way we have cool content to share you guys here in a couple months. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for everyone for hanging out today. Chloe, it was so awesome to actually get you this time of day. Oh god, what time is it your time right now? Probably just like some awful hour. <laughs> and I'll be like, why the hell are you awake? <laughs> Hello. I do have another controller. Well, it's for the Wii, Wii modes, Switch modes, Joy-Cons, there we go. And it's Animal Crossing themed, which is awesome. It's actually 420 <laughs> in the morning or afternoon. You said you're streaming in like eight hours. Am, oh God, oh God. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry you're awake at this time, but it's been really wonderful to have you hanging out. Okay, we had Nova the Rainbow is who we're gonna go hang out with today. Let's go give them some love. All right, friends. We will see some of you back here tomorrow and hopefully more of you in streams in the future. And I hope you have an absolutely lovely Thursday, or the rest of Wednesday, depending on what time zone you're in. <laughs> and we say, we say goodbye. We're we gonna say goodbye, Bill. She's like, no, I sleep. Okay, say goodbye to the people. Look at this grumpy cat face. Why? Why, mother? Why? Yeah. Okay. Bye.